Hello everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. From the previous video, we are learning jump statements. We will continue the previous lecture and learn some more jump statements. Now the next jump statement is continue. Now the continue statement is similar to the break statement but there is one difference in the continue statement. Except terminating the loop, continue statement will restart the loop from the next iteration. The continue statement syntax is just like as simple as break statement. Just like this. Continue and specify semicolon. Can also use with label. Like this. Continue and then specify the label name. Right? You can use continue and continue label syntax in body of the loop. If you use this syntax elsewhere, then it causes a syntax error. Now let's take an example and understand how continue statement work. For example, I will declare a variable here. So I will say let x is equal to 0. Then we will create a while loop. So I will say while and in the expression I will specify x is less than 10 and specify the compound statement using curly braces. Now here I will first increase the value of x using post incremental operator. So I will say x plus plus. After that I will use if statement and in the expression I will specify x is equal to 5. Then I will continue the statement. And after that I will print x on the console. So I will say console.log and specify x. Now when you execute this statement, you will get 1 to 10 on the console. But it does not print 5 because we use something in the code. We use if condition with continue statement. So as you can see, continue statement will skip the rest of the code and continue the while loop. So when the continue statement execute, the execution goes at the top and continue the while loop without printing the x value on the console. Continue statement also use when you have some expression that terminate the loop using false expression. In that situation, you can use continue statement to continue the loop. So without terminating the loop, continue statement will continue the iteration and execute your loop. Right? Now the next statement is return. So mostly return statement used in the function. As the name implies, return statement used to return value to its caller. Following is the syntax of return statement. So I will say return and specify expression. As simple as that. It is a syntax error for it to appear anywhere else. The function that contains the return statement return the expression to its caller. For example, so to create a function, I will say function and then specify the name of that function. After that, I will specify the parenthesis and in that parenthesis, I will specify argument. So I will say x here. And just after that, I will specify the body of that function. So in the function body, I will specify return statement with x plus x expression. So here I will just return the addition of two equal values, right? Just after that, I will print the x value on the console. So I will say console.log and in the parenthesis, I will call the function. So I will say add and in the parenthesis, I will specify the parameter value. So I will say 3 here, right? So when you execute the statement, you will get 6 on the console. So when we call the function, function return its value to its caller. So using return statement in the function, we will return addition of two equal values. If we just change 3 and specify 5 here, then you will get 10 on the console, right? We will learn the function and the parameter and all that in future lectures, but just for now, Return statement is used to return a value to its caller. Keep that into your account. 
That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. From the next tutorial, we will learn what is function. Don't forget to watch the next tutorial because it is very important to understand what is function. Function is used anywhere in the JavaScript program. There are also few jump statements are remaining to understand, but we will cover that after a few lectures. That is all for this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.